Hey folks, Trace Monk here, playing some more Europa Universalis 4 as the Aztecs. We are currently trying desperately to find a way to get a core next to a European, or next to someone with Western tech, so we can reform our religion and then start the painful process of Westernizing. The moment, however, we're... We've already explored the coast of South America, or, well, most of the coast of South America. We kind of stopped at Portuguese Brazil. We took over Tapuia down here, except that we're thinking, okay, we'll annex them, but turns out we have to have at least one core province that is close enough for us to core them. So, yeah. And if you look, like right now, I think our... Colonial range, which one are you? Colonial range map mode, which, yeah, we, uh, totally don't have very good colonial range, which is not actually our coring range, but that's one of the few, like, range indicator map modes that I've seen. How are we doing on opinion with our other vassals? Kokomis is at plus 100, the Totonac, or... yeah, okay. What's your problem? Oh, we still have massive aggressive expansion penalties with you. Like, seriously massive aggressive expansion penalties. We're currently trying to make sure that the Europeans don't get into colonial Mexico, if at all possible. But we have discovered that Castile is over here in the Caribbean. And we know we can't do that. Because of the way our colonization works, we do not have the option of sending anybody there. We're not building up to our current force limit just because... Oh, oh, can't reduce that one. Could reduce Pipil. Why, why do you even have unrest? Nationalism. Which is funny because you were a colony. <sighs> you were a colony. But yeah, we'll just lower your autonomy right there. Tropical wood will now be produced in Mosquito. Seriously? We have a colony named Mosquito? Doesn't sound like a very good colony to have there. 88.5 people a year on average brought in extra there. Yeah, yeah. Come on. And I'm lamenting the fact that because we are primitive, because we cannot yet reform our religion, that we are unable... Ooh. Let's gain stability. We're currently... Yeah, we're currently trying to kind of go out on the coast here. Because we want to know when one of the Europeans gets close enough to us here. There's one of the Native American tribes over there. Hey, you, get, get over there. And keep on moving. Is 
see if I were like if I had chosen one of the NT nations down here, I probably would have started just call beelining for the coast with my colonists. That doesn't work very well out here. No, siree, it does not. Not very well at all. And there's Florida. Yes, we could get diplomatic tech. Mosquito came, rose up in rebellion. Oh no. This should give us some intelligence though. We look at like the trade map mode. Yeah, a lot of that's Panama. And Castile has 7% of the trade power. Castile is using their trade power to transport 0.36% forward. They don't have a merchant there. Castile is doing similar things here, but they don't have a merchant either. Okay. We'll just explore up the coast here just a little bit. Because we want to have some idea of what's coming for us. Neither one of those is really that bad. Um, but we'll just keep the legitimacy for now. Salt in Barado. Oh, there goes my rebel suppression army. Yes, we shall pay homage to Quetzalcoatl. Oof. We'll lose the Diplo power, because it's only 33. You know what? Actually, you guys, like, just, just get... No. No. Turn off the Rebel Suppression. Stay put. And you guys can just stay there and Rebel Suppress. Wow. Do not want to fight the Creek right now. That was a three-star general they had. So what is... You know what, actually? So what is, like, Portuguese Brazil's opinion of us? They're kind of neutral. Uh, they're neutral. What about Portugal itself? They, they don't really like us that much, but it's just because we're different religions. Um, let's improve relig relations with Portugal. So that hopefully they don't just, like, outright attack us. <laughs> they have a neutral attitude towards us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My wife goes, meh. Oh. 
Yeah, you guys are on your way back. So if we look at the colonial region, we need to go like all the way out to Aish here. Okay, you can just go down here to this nine stack. I don't want to go through the business of integrating too much of anything right now. Although I am going to recall my guy from Tapuya. So we are nowhere near close enough to anything. Uh, it's taking him a while. Start improving relations with the Totonac. Mosquito is good to go. Uh, it was Barado that we got the mission. That we have the mission for right now. Yeah, so we'll just core Mosquito right now. And let's send a guy to Manag Managua. Hey, and Barado is now that much closer. When are we going to lose this, uh... I guess actually... Increased offensive in two years. Okay. Although, if, actually, if we look at our... Oh, hey! Lose five doom! Gain one stability! Good omens. So if this is 125%. That means, let's see... Divide it by five? Like eight. We probably have a force limit of around 32 or so. Mixed tech are finally down to like a minus 40 opinion of us only. Cartagena over there. Uh oh. Castile has declared war, citing colonial conquest. Where are they? <laughs> like, okay. Where are you guys gonna come from? <laughs> oh man. Start coring that. Did I see boats? I don't see boats. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see boats right now. We are at. Oh, we are now currently at war with Castile and Portugal and all those guys. Uh. Yeah, okay. Let's gain some prestige. Have the gods forsaken us? We got an outbreak of smallpox. Oh no. Uh. Oh, 
got rid of the rebel suppression thing from him because I don't know. I'm gonna guess that they declared war on us. This is the Col Castilian conquest of Aztec. All they have to do is show superiority. Which is a bit of a pain. It's the eighty percent of battle is the source of war score for that one. At this point, it's gonna be like okay. We can sue them for peace and just be like, okay, offer that, but they won't take it. It's like not enough. They don't want, they don't really want it. Taking war score is currently in the negative because we lost that battle down there. Okay. What I'm wondering right now is when does Castile show up? Also, do we have anywhere with like really, really, really good supply limit? Like somewhere we could put probably most of our army? Because it's about the only chance we probably have. They have, they have no aggressiveness down there. Those guys will be fine. Uh, well, I say that. It is a colony. No. No. We'll retreat him back to Mexico. These guys, on the other hand, eh, there's not much, but there are currently only 55 settlers there, too. Yeah, let's... Mm, yeah. Let's gain power. Do they even know where I am? Because, you know, like, right now, I'm kind of like, where where are they? They haven't shown up on my borders yet. Uh, subjects. You know, I say aggressive, but... I don't really know that there's that much that they can do. There's, <laughs> we don't have boats because we're primitives. If you guys want to take like part of Cocomes or Zhu, that's fine. Oh, accept those demands. Come on guys, show up somewhere. Take something. Because right now all you're getting is ticking war score and the minus 3.28 from winning from P Portuguese Brazil winning at Sao Joao del Rey. Come on. Actually, what's the... We have a supply limit here anybody where's the supply limit mm, dies in Managua that's cool so wait our guy with the hmm
<sighs> yeah, who knows what they'll wind up wanting out of that. But this is telling just a little bit. Castile doesn't have a colonial nation yet. They just have colonies. Which actually means they may not, uh... They may not actually have the Caribbean there. I didn't check. But the fact that they have not actually come to attack us indicates to me that they do not know where we are. Like, they have, they evidently have not explored enough. Neither Portugal nor, uh, nor, um, Castile have actually explored enough to find, to figure out where we are. Which is interesting. Oh, we're capped on military points. Uh, we might as well, even though we don't want to spend too much, we might as well go ahead and do that. We can upgrade our uh, guys here. We'll go with the American Hill Warriors. Which, yes, is going to drop all our stuff down there for a bit. Why is their war exhaustion climbing? Because, I mean, like, ours isn't doing nothing. Oh, theirs is climbing because they're occupied. That's right. <laughs> uh. Mmm. Eh, we'll lose the admin power. We're okay with that. So, now we know who Castile is. We can't improve relations with them because they're at war with us. That's why we have the free diplomat now. Because since they dragged Portugal into this war... We still have no other missions right now. They don't know where we are. So... Click this button. They will not accept any demands right now. Hmm. Okay. So they won't accept any demands. Probably because length of war, relative strength of the alliance, things like that. They're way ahead on tech. But they actually don't have that many more uh, men than I do. Let's see. We can crush them. Give them more local authority. Let's mix a gets 20 years. You are a two base tax province. You don't have anything s particularly special about you. Uh, yeah, you can have 20 years of not giving us as m much uh, as many men. Hmm. I guess we'll go. With, well, I guess we'll take the yearly prestige guy there. And if we cap out on Diplo Power, we'll just up our uh, idea group here. Oh. Wonder how much total ticking war score they'll get for this. Well, folks, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. It's gone on just a touch long. Uh, next time we will see if Castile knows where uh, no, knows where we are. Or if Portugal knows where we are. Because uh, apparently Tapuya down here hasn't told them anything. They have not told them anything about where we are located. We are still a giant mystery to the Europeans. 
But I'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.